Hi, we are team Bracky Mongolthiri from Bracky University, Bangladesh. A student-led Mercer project consisting of 50 students from various disciplines of the university. This year, we would like to present our ongoing preparation for University Rover Challenge 2025. Our rover hypersonic has been designed for continuous iteration, allowing the modular upgrades and subsystem replacements without compromising overall functionality. This enables us to refine performance while maintaining system operability. By using rocker buggy mechanism, our rover can maneuver through sandy and rocky terrains. The wheel has gone through several iterations and came to spotted wheel for delivery mission, making the rover mechanical structure weight 42 kgs. The rover has been tested through a 1 meter vertical drop and can navigate precisely through any marked path. The rover can open, pick up and carry hinge lead box of more than 5 kg in mass, smaller than 40 cm in length, width and height, and grip 7.5 cm in diameter. The onboard heat cameras along with the digital FEV is access to the RTSP protocol, which lets us see the astronaut signs and find objects in poor conditions, even while out of sight. This year, the rover utilized redundant 0.2.5 GHz and 900 MHz communication modules with the capability of load balancing and frequency hopping for over 1 km video transmission and rover control. It takes less than 3 minutes to set up the command station. In case of any uncertain event, a physical kill switch has been implemented for rover intervention. From the previous experience, we came up with a much more compact, motor solution that enables hot swappable multi-channel control, which is powered by hot swappable lithium-ion batteries. This year, we've also made custom power module to distribute different voltages among all components. All the controls of the rover are operated using PIGZOG and a mini PC is kept inside for backup interfacing. We're taking the full benefit of, of the ROSTU framework and PI Link to integrate with our system. This year we came up with base rotation on the arm, maintaining 6 degrees of freedom. It ensures a low center of gravity and offers better stability. The end effector is precisely designed and developed for equipment servicing mission for delivering signed cached samples to interacting with landers of 1.5 meter height. It can also pick up metal test tubes, open and close drawers, operate joystick, push buttons, flip switches, turn knobs, remove and insert USB and initiate launch. The mini arm for autonomous keyboard typing will be attached to the main arm during equipment servicing mission. The rover moves in front of the keyboard, keeping the arm level using an accelerometer. Then it detects and calculates where each key's position should be in the real world using a camera. Then using inverse kinematics, the head of the arm reaches the coordinates of the key code keys and presses them sequentially. This year, for autonomous mission, our system employs a custom decision tree to navigate towards GNSS locations provided by our operators. With dual sub-degree precision IMU paired with dual centimeter precision GPS and RTK modules, Hypersonic can accurately traverse between designated GNSS coordinates. We have developed a custom global planner that uses a point cloud map of the environment to compute the shortest and safest path, even in complex terrains. For local obstacle avoidance and navigation, our system leverages two Z stereo cameras integrated with VSLAM and localization algorithms. This combination dynamically detects obstacle and continuously updates the robot's position, ensuring precise local navigation. Additionally, Hypersonic utilizes OpenCV Aruko detection library to accurately identify Aruko marker from up to 50 meters away, leveraging Z camera's depth capabilities. Complementing this, our onboard EOLO 11 models, trained on a custom dataset, rapidly detect other object of interest with minimal influence time. If the desired marker or object isn't immediately visible, Hypersonic initiates a 360-degree rotational search in 60-degree increments, followed by an efficient square search pattern. This multi-layered system approach ensures our robot is resilient, adaptive in every environment. Detecting extraterrestrial life was the key goal for science team of University Rover Challenge 2025. Excavator claw of rover can collect sample from 15 cm deep and channel the soil in two separate funnels loading to separate tester, which prevents the cross contamination. Cash box with cell slider is present, which ensures the quality. NPK sensor is used to measure the mineral concentration of sample. Result is ensured by combination of other samples for atmospheric analysis, carbon dioxide, air pressure, carbon monoxide, temperature, humidity, and light intensity. Two biochemical tests with spectroscopy based analysis is used for the live detection to provide inside University 2025. After mixing with distilled water by centrifugation, we separate the soil and supernatant to carry of the reaction. Molish region test for carbohydrate detection which initially identifies the simple and tertiary carbohydrate and ninhydrin test for protein detection featuring an improved solubility control for actively identifying amino acid derivative. The test enhances our ability to detect potential life samples in extraterrestrial. The final phase of the experiment employs a UVC ray analyzer to reinforce the finding from the biochemical test. Carbohydrate evolution is quantified by the limit of detection method which soil sample emitting wavelength between 280 to 260 nanometer indicate the presence of tryptophan and tyrosine calculated using the extension coefficient. With all that being said, we hope this experiment will help us to excel in the science mission of URC 2025. Beyond competition, the team Bracky Mongolturi actively encourages higher secondary and high school students to participate in robotics and STEM education. As a team built with dreamers and problem solvers, we strive to share knowledge across Bangladesh and extend our best wishes to all competing teams. See you in Utah.